So there is plenty of VST AutoTune plugins available for Audacity, but the one I chose here is Grayland 2, which is regarded as one of the best and one of the most popular free AutoTune plugins. I'll give I'll give the link in the description. And let's get on with the download and installation. So download it wherever you want. You're gonna open up a folder where you have the file downloaded and you're gonna have to go to program files and either look for VST plugins or for Steinberg folder. If none of these exists, then create a, a new folder. In fact, I can do just that. I'll call it VST and you can paste the plugin right here. You're going to click extract here. And uh, I'm using Windows, so you're going to click on the application file and install it. And this is quite straightforward. I just have another application open. Right, now that I have the app installed, let's go to Audacity. And um, it should appear in your effect. And uh, let's look for the gray lawn effect. So yeah, it's right here. But in order to use it, I need to make some sort of audio recording. I guess I didn't choose a correct microphone here. So playback will choose this one and for recording choose my microphone and we can start recording and and we'll have on sample audio on which we can apply the auto tune effect and now i can apply the auto tune So let's um, reduce the pitch a bit. Let's enable it to maximum. It's not a full version, but you can use this lower part. And I'm not a singer, so I don't really know much about auto tunes, but this is how you install it and I'll just give a quick preview. Now we can start recording and, and we'll have a sample audio on which we... And we can try with the lower, lower pitch. Now we can start recording and, and we'll have a sample audio on which we... And that's it, you click apply and you're gonna have the effect applied and that's how you get auto tune in audacity